Namaste. Welcome to my channel. We will now start the reading with the fire sign. So we're going to start with Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. So we're going to expert. What do we have for Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus regarding love for the month of December? Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus spirit. We have a new deck here, which is the Light Seer's Tarot. These cards are absolutely beautiful. And I am now open and accepting personal readings. You can find everything in my description box below. So, what do we have for Leo? Let's get these fire signs together. This day. What do we have for Leo? Regarding love, spirit, sun, moon, rising, and Venus. Let's get these fire signs together. Leo. Regarding love, sun, moon, rising, and Venus, spirit. Leo. Underneath the deck, you have the Knight of Pentacles. So the Knight can speak of um, a passionate offer. A slow offer coming in. Okay might not be passionate it could be money or just someone taking their time and because this knight of pentacles is reversed perhaps someone was coming in to offer you a stability and decided not to let's see what's going on with the leo sun moon rising and venus spirit these cards are absolutely beautiful the artwork on here is amazing and again, if you want a personal reading, please subscribe and look at the details in my subscription box. So I'm realizing a Venus for Leo spirit. What do we have for Leo? We have the high priestess in reverse. We have the high priestess in reverse here. Okay. Pisces energy. You have the star, the Aquarius energy about healing. Okay. You have also the Seven of Cups in reverse. Someone having options, no longer having options. Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio energy. You also have the Queen of Cups in reverse. Okay. Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. So it definitely might be a Pisces video that you are thinking about. Or Pisces is thinking about you. Okay. Let's see. Let's see if we can get two more cards for Leo. And we have the Pisces again, the hangman, okay? So we have the hangman energy. This is Pisces, okay? This is someone hanging and waiting for answers, perhaps, from a Pisces. Let's see, spirit. Leo, sun, moon, rising, and Venus. What do we have for Leo? Leo, Leo. We have a card that flipped over. We're going to take the top one, which is the four of swords. This is someone who needs healing, and this is the Aquarius Libra Gemini energy, and this is about pain and agony. Someone is um, depressed, not happy, but eventually coming out of that energy in the month of um, December. So underneath the deck, you have the Queen of Pentacles, okay? In reverse, this is Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo energy. Someone is upset you ha also have the five of pentacles someone being left out in the cold uh pipe taurus virgo capricorn you also have the nine of swords so someone is in pain and agony here as you can see someone is not happy at all okay and then we have some cards that perhaps flipped over doing a shuffling that i didn't take but we will leave it there okay let's actually put the queen of pentacles on the top and hone into this energy here maybe it's a third party relationship got two women the queen of cups and the uh, queen of pentacles here or this could be two males a taurus virgo capricorn or pisces cancer scorpio there's a lot of water here okay someone is not listening to their intuition the star to speak of healing is reverse, maybe involving kids. Everything is reverse besides the hangman. So someone is hanging and waiting. And when I said the hangman, the page of cups uh, flew out. 
So I'm going to lay that here. This is a Cancer Pisces Scorpio energy. Again, an ending of some sort of relationship or ending to some pain, agony involving a Cancer Pisces Scorpio. Let's ask Spirit. Why is the Seven of Cups here for Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus? Why is the Seven of Cups here? And we have the Ace of Swords. So you guys have been fighting and arguing with someone. Some sharp tongues, some disagreements, some arguments, some just like anger, angry messages back and forth with the Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, perhaps Leo. Okay, and I just seen the death card. So it's an ending to some sort of relationship. It can also be a Virgo, Aquarius, Gemini you might be dealing with. Okay, so we have this star card here now in reverse for Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus regarding love. Okay, and then you have the Empress again. Okay, so this can speak of um, a Taurus or a baby mother. And because we have the star card here in reverse, this, is, this could be the child's mother or someone who is a mother figure or a woman figure that you're arguing over. It could be someone... From the past that's or a child okay um that you're having disagreements or got in love with so let's see why is the high priestess here for um leo and the high priestess is clarified with the ace of cups this is a water sign in reverse so you have the pisces cancer scorpio this is definitely the pisces card the high priestess this is her listening to her intuition no longer listen to her intuition is reversed and the ace of cups so it can be you not listening to your intuition or Pisces just is so upset with you that they are emotionally in pain with the Ace of Cups being reversed. That is despair. That's sorrow. That's misery. And then you also have the Four Swords in reverse. So someone is in pain. Someone is not happy about a relationship, Leo. So why do we have the Four Swords here for Leo re regarding love, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus? Why is the Four of Swords here? Okay. We have the Queen of Wands. This is another woman. Perhaps is involved. Maybe you found out or the partner you're, you're dealing with found out about another woman, another man. This is the other woman card that's in reverse. Maybe a Pisces found out about an Aries and was like, I'm done. And then you have the world. So someone's world has been upside down, turned upside down. So you have also... The hangman, which came out earlier, which clarified with the page of cups. So someone was waiting, patiently waiting, hanging around, waiting for some kind of message to come through. And then you have the page. It's an ending to a Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio perhaps walked away from this union and is just fed up. This is what I'm seeing here. Let's see. Why is the hangman here for Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus? Why is the hangman here? For Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Why is the hangman here? For Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Why is the hangman here? And we have the Eight of Pentacles clarified with the Five of Wands. So this could be a Aries, Leo, Sagittarius energy or a Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo. And it's like you weep what you sow. And this is a fight. Someone is coming out of some kind of big fight with the Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. I'm really feeling Pisces energy here. Why is the Queen of Cups here for a Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus? And that's clarified with the, um, the Ten of Wands in reverse. The Ten of Wands is movement messages coming in. And because it's reverse. The Queen of Cups is no longer interested in communicating. They want to walk away from this this union. And you have also the Queen of Pentacles at the bottom of the deck. So let's ask Spirit. What's the Queen of Pentacles? Why is the Queen of Pentacles here? For Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Why is the Queen of Pentacles here? So we have the uh, King of Pentacles. This is a couple. This is a couple in reverse. Maybe you found out about another partner, a Taurus, a uh, Capricorn, Virgo that your Pisces is now in love with, or now you are in love with the Queen or King of Pentacles, and maybe you guys are fighting over custody. I don't know. Someone's being left out in the cold. 
underneath the death you got the king of swords so this is like someone is being fed up you have the lovers behind that the gemini card and the seven of wands knight of pentacles so so leo this is a very heavy energy here you have the taurus here someone's baby mother and you also have um a queen and king of pentacles you have all of the water reversed so you might have been dealing with two different people at the same time and those people walked away from this relationship so this is your reading leo and i wish you the best namaste